Good morning. Good morning, Heavenly Father. I just want to thank you for another day. I ask to the Lord that uh, the Holy Spirit intercede on my behalf as I read and pray. In Yeshua's precious name, I pray. Amen. Something's good there today. Proverbs 12. <clears throat> One loving instruction is loving knowledge, but one hating correction is brutish. The good obtains favor from Jehovah, but a man of evil plots he will condemn. Not to what I'm up already, thank you. But he will condemn. Not will be established a man by wickedness, but the root of the righteous not will totter. A woman of virtue is the crown of her Lord, but as rottenness in his bones is one causing shame. The thoughts of the righteous are justice, the counsel of the wicked is deceit. The words of the wicked ambush for blood, but the upright's mouth delivers them. Overthrow the wicked, and they are not, but the house of the righteous stands. By the mouth of his prudence shall be praised a man, but the reverse of heart shall become despised. Better is one despised and a servant to him than one honoring himself and lacking bread. Knows the righteous the life of his beast, but the mercies of the wicked are cruel. He who serves his land will be satisfied with bread, but one pursuing vanities lacks heart. Desires the wicked the net of evils, but a root to the righteous gives. In the transgression of the lips is the snare of evil, but will emerge from distress the righteous. From the fruit of a man's mouth he is satisfied with good and the dealing of a man's hands will return to him. The way of fools is right in his own eyes. The way of a fool is right in his own eyes, but one listening to counsel is wise. A fool in a day is known his vexation, but covers shame the astute. He who breathes faithfulness reveals righteousness, but a witness of falsehood's deceit. There is a rash speaking like thrust of a sword, but the tongue of the wise is healing. The lips of truth are established forever, but only while I wink is a tongue of falsehood. Deceit in the heart of those plotting evil, but to counselors of peace is joy. Not shall happen to the righteous every trouble, but the wicked shall be filled with evil. An abomination to Jehovah lips of falsehood, but those who do faithfulness are his delight. A man shrewd covers knowledge, but the heart of fools calls out folly. The hand of, hard of the hard workers shall rule, but we miss ones will become forced labor. Anxiety in a man's heart makes it droop, but a word good makes it glad. Searches out with his friend the righteous, but the way of the wicked misleads him. Not to start after the remiss one his prey, but... A hard-working man's wealth is precious. In the path of righteousness is life, and in that path is not death. Judges 11. And Japuna, the Gileadite, was a, was a mighty warrior, and he was and he was the son of a woman, a harlot, and fathered Gilead, Jephtha, and bore the wife of Gilead to him sons, and grew up the sons of the wife, and threw out Jephtha, 
and said to him, Not you shall inherit in the house of our father. For the son of a for the son of another woman you are, and fled Jephthah from the face of his brothers, and lived in the land of Tob, and were gathered to Jephthah worthless men. And they went out with him, and it was after some time that fought the sons of Ammon with Israel. And when fought the sons of Ammon with Israel, went the elders of Gilead to bring Jephthah from the land of Tob. And they said to Jephthah, Come, and you shall be to us for a commander, that you might, that you, that we may fight against the sons of Ammon. And said Jephthah to the elders of Gilead, Have not you hated me? Yea, you threw me out from the house of my father. Why have you come to me now, when you, when distress is, is to you? And said the elders of Gilead to Jephthah, For this reason now come, for this reason now we have come back to you, and you shall go with us and fight against the sons of Ammon, and you shall be to us for a head to all the people of Gilead, and said Jephthah to the elders of Gilead, If are taken back you me, if are taking you me back to fight against the sons of Ammon, and gives up Jehovah them before me, I shall be your head. And said the elders of Gilead to Jephthah, Jehovah is witness between us, surely according to your word we will do. And went Jephthah with the elders of Gilead, and appointed the people and appointed the people over him over them for head and for commander and spoke Jephthah all this all his word all his words before Jehovah and Mizpah and sent Jephthah messengers to the king of the sons of Ammon saying what is to me and to you that you have come to me to fight in my land and said the king of the sons and said the king of the sons of Ammon to the messengers of Jephthah, because took Israel my land, when he came up out of Egypt from Arnon, even to Jabok and to the Jordan, and now restore them in peace. And again, yet Jephthah sent messengers to the king of the sons of Ammon and said to him, Thus says Jephthah, not, do ta not did take Israel the land of Moab, and the land of the sons of Ammon, for when they came up out of Egypt, went Israel in the wilderness to the re to the Sea of Reeds, and came in at Kadesh, and sent Israel messengers to the king of Edom, saying, Let me pass on, please, through your land. But not did listen the king of Edom, and also the, to the king of Moab Israel sent, and not he was willing. And remained Israel in Kadesh, and he went through the wilderness, and went around the land of Edom and the land of Moab, and came at the rising of the sun to the land of Moab, and they camped beyond Arnon, and did not come into the border of Moab, for Arnon was the border of Moab, and sent Israel messengers to and sent Israel messengers to Sihon, the king of the Amorites the king of Heshbon, and said to him, Israel, let us pass, please, through your land to my place, and not did trust Sihon Israel to pass through his border, and gathered Sihon all his people, and he camped in Jahaz, and fought with Israel, and gave Jehovah, the God of Israel, Sihon, and, the king, and all his people into the hand of Israel, and they struck them, and seized Israel, all the land of the Amorites, the dwellers of that land, and they seized all the border of the Amorites from Arnon even to the Jabbok, and from the wilderness even to the Jordan. And now Jehovah, the God of Israel, has expelled the Amorite from before his people Israel, and you would possess it. <laughs> Do not whatever causes to possess you, Chemosh, your God, you possess, 
and all that which has expelled Jehovah our God from before us we will possess, and now are better at all you than Balak the son of Zippor, the king of Moab? Did indeed he strive with Israel? Did he indeed fight against them? When lived Israel in Heshbon, and in its daughter towns, and in Aor, and in the town and its daughter towns, and in all the cities which were by the hands of Arnon three hundred years, why not have you delivered them in that time? So I not have sinned against you, but you are going, but you are doing me wrong to fight against me, my judge Jehovah the judge, today between the sons of Israel and between the sons of Ammon. And not did listen the king of the sons of Ammon to the words of Jephthah, which he sent to him, and was on Jephthah the spirit of Jehovah. And he passed through Gilead and Manasseh, and passed through Mizpah and Gilead. And from Mizpah of Gilead he passed on to the sons of Ammon, and vowed Jephthah a vow to Jehovah, and said, If indeed you will give the sons of Ammon into my hand, then it shall be the thing coming the thing coming out which comes out of the doors of my house to meet me when I return in peace from the sons of Ammon shall belong to Jehovah, and I will offer it instead of a burnt offering, and passed over Jephthah to the sons of Ammon to fight against them, and gave the, and gave them Jehovah into his hand, and he struck them from Aor even until they until, until you come to Minas, twenty cities and to the meadow of the vineyards, a destruction very great. And was humbled the sons of Ammon before the sons of Israel, and came Jephthah to Mizpah to his house, and behold, his daughter came out to meet him with timbrels and with choruses. Only and only she, she alone, there was not to him of his own son or daughter. And when he saw her, he tore his clothes and said, Alas, my daughter, very you have brought me very low, and you are made me bow, and I have opened my mouth to Jehovah, and not I am able to take it back. And she said to him, My father, you have opened your mouth to Jehovah to do to me whatever has gone out of your mouth, since has executed for you Jehovah vengeance on your enemies and on, on the sons of Ammon. And she said to him, her, to her father, Let it let be done to me this thing. Withdraw from me two months, and let me go and descend upon the hills, and let me weep for my virginity. I am my friends. And he said, Go. And he sent away her two months, and she went, she and her friends, and she wept for her virginity on the hills. And at the end of two months she returned to her father, and he did to her his vow, which he vowed, and she not did know a man, and it is a custom in Israel from days to days, from days to days, go up the daughters of Israel to tell again of the daughter of Jephthah the Gileadite four days in the year. Father, I want to thank you kindly for hearing my prayer and for everything you do for me. I want to lift up the Uyghurs to you, U-Y-G-H-U-R-S, the Uyghurs of China, Lord. And I keep them in my prayers every day. Also, Bridget, Lord, and Mrs. Ravel, and Peggy, and Demario, and Demario's need for a laptop, Lord. And, uh, Lord, the one I love. And if I'm forgetting anything, Heavenly Father, I ask the Holy Spirit to intercede on my behalf. And I ask that you go before me, that I go to um, go where I'm going safely, Lord. In Yeshua's precious name, I pray all these things. Amen.